Being a reality star is a good time. You have mad love from fans everywhere you're going, you're taking pictures, you're getting free clothes, free bottle service. You really feel like a star. My life has, has done a 180. It's a blessing. I was this kid that was a nobody. They next thing you know, people are taking pictures of me. I love the lifestyle, traveling, meeting people, socializing. Being on reality TV has warped my mind in so many ways. I don't know what's real and what's fake. I don't have privacy in any part of my life. Everyone passing judgment on me all the time. Everyone always feels the need to be in your business. I can't date outside of reality TV. It's weird going on dates with regular people. Do they want to date me because I have a lot of followers? Being in a relationship and being in a public eye, you don't know if it's real or if it's fake anymore. On my end, my relationship with Nelson is real. I'm not sure if it's real on his end. Well, Angela says she can't move on from her toxic relationship with her ex on the beach co-star, Nelson. We had just gone over some text messages that you were sending right. and some that she had sent back. You said you wanted to say something about that. What is it? The thing is, when we sent those text messages and I said, hey, you want me to kill myself, blah, blah, blah. She was angry and frustrated and pissed. I would never do anything to intensely hurt Angela's career and that is social media, and that is her brand in general. So uh -huh. me, I could have sent a text message to y'all and say, oh, go kill yourself, go jump off the bridge, go, uh, go just anything. She always has to win one. She always has to up one on you. And that's, that's what it is with Angela. So for her to sit here and send pictures of her broken nail and show these text messages, yes, I could have done the same thing and exposed her, but I didn't, because that's how much I care about her. And so intentionally going on X on a beach, I didn't have no intentions to go, be in a relationship. I had left one dating show to go on another dating show to tell a girl that I didn't want to be with me to go on another one. I didn't expect I was leaving this ex on the beach holding hands with Angela. I was committed to moving to LA, living the single life, and next thing you know, I'm falling in love. And I'm like, yo, this is moving faster than I thought. Reality TV elevates relationships. We don't have time to be friends and get to know each other and her to accept all the baggage that well, I have. I don't have. know that I call that elevating, but we'll, we'll get back to that. I want to introduce uh, Coach Mike Bear here um, because Coach Mike Bear is a life coach. He's CEO of Cass Centers. Uh, coach Mike focuses on helping his clients break free of destructive patterns, habit patterns where people get into uh, a rhythm of life that really is not in their best interest. His New York Times best-selling book is called Best Self, Be You, Only Better. And I've asked him to come help because I do think there are some patterns here. So please welcome Coach Mike Bear. Now, I, I'm glad you're here, and I'm going to put you to work here in just a minute, because you've worked with a lot of people in the industry, from A-listers to those trying to break in, and you know what the pressures are, and we'll deal with that in just a minute. Um, and I've said, I'm interested in your real life, not your TV life. Mm -hmm. You know, here's somebody, you two met on a TV show, and you knew each other when you said you fell in love for what? 10 hours, a week, two weeks? It was, a, it was about a week. <laughs> about a week. And you're desperately in love with each other. Um, I, I question that. We didn't uh, say we loved each other until New Year's. Yeah. It was, it was more than, it was quite a while before we used the love word. And I went over the the resume and the way you describe him, and you say that you, you feel like he's cheated on you when he left the show. Um, she has trust issues, obviously. So should she trust you? Yes. The thing is... What was your question for the... I'm I, sorry, I, I don't mean to I, yell. Go I'm, ahead, man, because no, no, I can't no, get a word no, no. out of my mouth. Should she trust you? Yes. She, does she have every reason not to trust me? Yes. Well, what does that mean? That means that you just yes, contradicted I, yourself. Exactly. I made degrees. a mistake in the past. I made a mistake and I owned it. I didn't even know where our relationship stands. We're on reality TV right now. I didn't know if it was a real thing or it was fake or you were just doing this to get camera time.